Hey there, knife fans. Love Them Knives channel. LTK is here to talk to you about a wonderful knife that I've had a little bit of time to get to know. Tucson. And you know, I've done videos on Tucson. The TS-20, TS-21, TS-31, to it. I, I mean, a bunch. <clears throat> Let me tell you, I just got this in from my buddy Larry and uh, he's sending me some more knives to to sell. We're gonna have a little knife sale coming up and I got this in advance uh, along with another Tucson knife which you may recognize from previous video, the TS-31 which is really cool. I had a viewer ask me about this saying, uh, oh, my husband wants one so bad or something like that. And like, can you point me in the direction and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't have one. I got one now and it's going to be on the knife sale. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's cool. But I want to talk about the difference between this and this. This is the TS-39. I think think you can get this on DH gate where I'm really running into these is on eBay and the seller on eBay well let's talk about that in a little bit this is titanium titanium backspacer nice titanium milled pocket clip which is a bit of a departure for Tucson um the blade is well centered and it's D2 steel. The pivots are really nice. They're bright, shiny, and uh, interesting, almost like a screwdriver fit. But I mean, they're set up for torques. So that's good. And so are the other screws. You got that nice backspacer with the lanyard hole and stuff. And it flips great. I mean, it's on bearings, as all the Tucson knives that I've reviewed have been on bearings. And they're flippers. And they just, oh my God, it's just, the action is great on these knives. And, you know, the detent, it's it's pretty strong. You know, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. Yeah, and there it goes. As soon as it let go, it came firing right out and... You know, it's hard to fail this one because of the detent being so good. <laughs> you can see the little hole right up here. It's, uh, it's kind of there. Uh, maybe it shouldn't be so noticeable, but it's there. But uh, look at the milling on this handle. I'm just, I, you know, the more I looked at this, you know, you get Tucson and they come in these little boxes and they're very generic and they're just like, uh, you know, and like the TS-20, which is this really cool little, you know, Tonto flipper. And, but, you know, I had to, I took it apart. I kind of cleaned out the bearings. There's a little junk in there, you know, put it back together with lube and it fired great. And it's just awesome and everything. And it was titanium and D2, but it, it, you know, I think the back was like this on that, on that Tanto one. So it wasn't, you know, and their pocket clip is just like a stamped metal. But Tucson is up in the game. This is definitely upping the game. Let me see if I can get actual focus on here. Yeah. Uh... One thing I've noticed is flipper tab now has jimping on it, where on some in the past, it has not. Um, and they're breaking the lines here on this. You can see where they've chamfered around these areas to make them nice and smooth. This is smooth. These are nice. These are nice all the way, really nice all the way. And they've got, you know, man, come here, baby. You know, and they've been famous for, you know, doing the insert, right? The hardened steel insert. And you can see that little over travel stop through there. So, I mean, they got a one piece hardened insert to uh, interface with the D2 blade over travel stop. 
that's built into that as a one-piece deal and detent ball. Easy one-hand operation. Let me see if we can do this. Okay, this might be able to go to Canada. <laughs> I know, you know, if you can gravity flip them, you're not supposed to be able to. You know what? No, I'm done. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Pretty good detent. So, no. Um, wow, I just... You know, they have... And let me show you this. Okay. So, this is eBay. This is one of the knives that they also call morning night morning design. And if you look on this... They call this night morning design. So this, this, these are two knives. They have one in a fairly shiny titanium scale and more in one more in the, in the gray bead blasted, which is more like that available on this. But this guy is a seller called y, YYKKYY77. He's got about 14,000 transactions and he keeps throwing them up on here. And I'll tell you what, they, they sell and they sell. This one's still got, what, over a day, a day and nine hours to go, and it's already at 51 bucks. I mean, there was a time when you could pick these things up for, sometimes you could jump in and steal one for 35, 38 bucks, and then, uh, you know, like at 40, 45. You know, now they're going crazy. I mean, they're, people have started to notice and these things are selling. I mean, he just lists them, starts them at a buck, and they go to 60 70 $80 and more. But, you know, you got to think about this. There's your stop pin. Um, There's your lockup. About 20%. It's good, though. Where do you get a titanium... Frame, nothing there, nothing there. Now that, yeah, those are, those are, those are magnetic. Let's just go that far. Had a guy today said, uh, true stainless steel is not magnetic. I answered him back because I said, well, to my knowledge, steel also contains iron and iron's ferrous and usually magnetic. I mean, do you have any articles or links that you can you know, confirm that with because I'm confused now. Anyway, so this is titanium. And this might anno pretty nice too. But what a different grind here. And what I was saying is, you know, people are starting to think, okay, where can I buy, you know, a traditional knife made by a USA company, whether it's made in the United States or not, by a USA brand or brand distributed in the USA, even considering, you know, we or Riyadh or whatever, that I can get, a, a, you know, a titanium frame lock flipper D2 blade for 50, 55, 60, 65. Can we keep going? Because I'm, I'm going to run up to 120 and still go, I can't think of any. Um, you, I mean, the Wii knives came out with the 617, which is G10 handles D2 blade, and it's a liner lock. So it's not a titanium frame lock. Just, I, I'm, I'm thinking. But this is why people are going crazy. I mean, this guy's going, hey, if you're not going to distribute my knives in the U.S., I'll tell you what, I'll just sell them on eBay. And they are kicking it. They are kicking it, my friend. And I'm seeing my buddy with the CH knives, their sellers, you know, got his knives all over eBay too. So this is kind of where they're going. These are not clones, but they're uh, good, original design, quality built Chinese knives that people are jumping all over. And I don't blame them. Uh, I want one myself. I don't have a single Tucson knife in my collection. And now I'm going, no, I got to have either something like this or this. This one really appeals to me. It's kind of crazy sheep's foot thing, but I love the slots and the handle. I just love the whole design. Looks like a shark, 
This one is probably my next favorite of what they're doing because here they're not just doing a flat back like this. And there's nothing wrong with this knife. It's just, you know, it's showy here, but, but you know, hey, hey, how many other knives like ZT and stuff have just a nondescript back to them? I get that. But I mean, you got a milled clip, you got, you got machining on both sides, really nice pivot on both sides. Nice looking screws on both sides. And wow. So you got the Tucson logo, D2. Night morning design. This grind here, which can't be real easy to do. You got a lot of meat coming down here. So it's kind of a modified sheep's foot, right? Um, everything's smooth. This box, this knife came out of the box, perfectly centered. I mean, it's, if you look at the tip, eh, it might be, I don't know, it micron, a micron maybe to that side. I mean, it's, so, but it's virtually perfectly centered and wow, it, I mean, wow. I mean, you can light switch it it kind of pushes you into light switching but you can push button it and light switch it but that's good detent there but not overly strong uh just right and wow let's get this going i'm sorry i'm just but i'm sitting there thinking i mean you tell me where where is it where's the titanium frame lock flipper that you might be able to grab you might be able to grab this knife for 55 60 65 bucks you know it's I don't know. Nine and a half centimeters. So we've got three and three quarter inch blade. I mean, you know, most of the two sun knives are around two and a half and under. I mean, three and a half and under. So this is a pretty good sized blade. Eight and a half overall, 21 and a half centimeters. So I don't know. This is, I think this is a whole different game for two sun. And I'm just catching up because you guys probably already know. Obviously, Larry's already got these in his hands. 0.145 inches, which is well thicker than uh, an eighth. Come on, baby. Yeah. Over three and a half millimeter blade stock. That's, that's all good in my book. So you got pretty nice hefty stock here. I, I, this thing, there is no, no blade play right out of the box. I mean, it's centered, no blade play, no lock rock, nothing. Uh, I kind of checked the grind. It's, that's pretty dang close. I mean, that's pretty close. I mean, you know, it's not way off to where you really, really notice it. You got to kind of stare at that for a while to go. I don't know. It's pretty good. I mean, I kind of measured out to here and it's, yeah, it's pretty good with this side. So symmetry on the blade grind. Come on. Focus for me, baby. But in any case, there you go. Kind of, kind of. Yeah. Just gotta say, and you know, there's no sharp edges here either. There's no like raw milled things. And it seemed like in the earlier days, which ain't that long ago, I've only been doing this channel for eight months. But I mean, you know, six months ago, five months ago, it seemed like, you know, no jimping here, kind of maybe raw milled edges a little bit, kind of a flat back stamped clip. But look at this. This puts it in a whole different category as far as I'm concerned. I, I really do. And, you know, I've kind of not really paid much attention to Tucson knives in the last two or three months. I, I've kind of seen them, caught them here and there. But, you know, as I went into either DHgate or went to eBay. But uh, I'm glad I got this in my hands because, you know, I've really started to sit up and take notice. There's some new designs. And I think one of the viewers actually said this a few weeks ago was like, have you paid attention? Have you checked it out? I think they've got an Instagram site. So maybe somebody wants to drop that link in the comment section as well. And I'll see if I can look it up and I can drop it also in my description box. 
but I'm going to drop the link to this seller that's doing these. Uh, see, and he's got one of these listed too. Okay. So, you know, 49 bucks. No, this is this DH gate. I'm sorry. I don't think this is the same guy, but you know, this background looks like one of the sellers on um, eBay as well. So you might be able to buy this from the same seller on eBay because I noticed the exact same background here. If you go on eBay and you type in Tucson, all one word, you know, knife and look, uh, you'll come up with them. And I think there's two different sellers. This YYKK, YY77, and this guy, and I can't remember his, his name on eBay. But so, you know, you can get those now. 49 bucks. Not bad for that. I mean, look at the Anno job. Look at the pivot. Same, right? Same pivots. You got the uh, lock bar interface. You got nice looking screws there. The, the only, and, and, the, and the backspacer's the same. Well, not exactly the same, but it's a titanium backspacer. Pocket clip. And the machining on this side, those are the only differences. But, you know, I don't know what you do on that side. So that's a different knife. That's a whole different style. Oh, well, these will be up on the knife sale here in about an, another week or so. We're going to have those. Probably a week we'll have those these all up. And I got to get my advanced buyers list together because if you want to be on the advanced buyers list, you get a shot at these before they come up for general sale on my channel. So, in any case, you know, it feels pretty good, too. It feels like it'll, yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're knocking pieces off here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on baby. Yeah. See, if you actually know how to cut into a piece of paper... And you're cutting little strips off. Yeah, it's it's doing good. Now I cut up all my my paperwork. Yeah. Everybody laughs when I do cutting paper chores. Gotta study up. Gotta study up. But wow. Yeah, it's sharp. It's got a good working edge. Let's put it that way. Blade symmetry is good. No lock rock, no blade play. Set up right out of the box. No problem. Milled clip, titanium, frame lock flipper, D2 steel. I mean, pfft, like the hardware. I mean, I'm saying, and the mill work on front and back. So I don't bounce it out too much. See what I'm saying? This is a different, this is different. This is, this is Tucson, you know, 2.0 in my book. And you grab one of these for 55, 60 bucks. I think you done got yourself a deal. Because uh, I'm trying to think of anything under 150 or 180 that can compete with it as far as, you know, being a true titanium frame lock knife with D2 or better steel. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking on it. But you can make mention if you if you think that there's one out there that just whips it. I mean, CH brand. They're, I mean, I think CH brand is really, really, really nice. And these are starting to pop their head up into the CH brand territory. So, wow. Uh, what a thinker, huh? I just wanted to share this with you because it's really got my attention now. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry for the long, you know, time, but, and, oh, God, I always got to forget one thing, don't I, but I'm not going to let you down, here we go, 4.6, wow, that's, that's lighter than I thought it would be, it's a three and three quarter inch blade, and it's full tie, 130 grams, you know, that's, that's pretty light, that's pretty light, Wow, okay. Okay. That's strange. It's like my scales are wrong or something because that just seems so light. But I guess you're right. It's, you know, it's under five. 
Whew. Nice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You know what we do. Yes, we do. We love them knives.